Here's another one, so <laughs> very classy opener on my part. I would fuck the shit out of you, smiley face. What's up guys, so today we're gonna break down the evolution of my personal text game. I was able to find some early interactions of me around 2013, along with some very old Tinder convos. So I'm gonna share those with you today so you can see how my text game has evolved in the last 10 years. So these interactions date back from around 2013, 2014. Tinder was fairly new on the scene, so the barrier to entry was pretty low and you could get away with fairly shit text game as you saw. At this point, I had maybe been with around 20, 30, 40 girls, you know, I definitely you know, didn't have a YouTube channel and I was still definitely coming up in the game. At this point, I was heavily, heavily, uh, you know, influenced by RSD. So I was following a lot of their teachings, but also you gotta keep in mind around 2013, 2014, RSD was a completely different company. They were a lot cooler, they were a lot edgier. They didn't really do all this bullshit self-help and all this nonsense they're pushing nowadays. So of course they were still somewhat scammy, but they were less scammy to say the least. Okay, so let's take a look at one of my Tinder interactions. So this is a girl who I wound up hanging out with a few times. So this is an old RSD Max opener, just a lonely girl. And she says, are you? So this is going riffing off a song. She, I say, ah, it's just a small town girl. I always butcher song lyrics. <laughs> so I didn't even, <laughs> I'm trying to like riff off a song and I got the lyrics wrong. She's like a lonely world, haha, ha, nice try. I hate to break it to you. I wouldn't consider myself ratchet. Oh, I think I have something in my bio about being uh, ratchet. I say, well, someone clearly hit like without reading my description. What am I, just a piece of ass to you? So my game was a lot more bun pushing back then. She says, clearly I read that you were adventurous and got a little too excited. I say, try to control yourself, dear. What are you up to tonight? Aha, having dinner with my sister. I kind of want to check out the concert at the pier. Funny you mentioned that. I just heard it about an hour ago. Romantic date, question mark. Yeah, sure, I'm leaving the house now. Shoot me your number, done. We actually met up at the pier that night and I want to plan her back to my place. So back then, you know, I was just going with any type of date. Like if the girl was down to meet me, I would meet her, right? It wasn't like, now it's just like, hey, she's either, we're gonna meet at a bar nearby, we're gonna meet at my place, right? Back then, I would just meet a girl anywhere again, because I had a lot less options back in those days. But this one actually worked out quite well. Here's another one, so, <laughs> very classy opener on my part. I would fuck the shit out of you, smiley face. Uh, I can't really do that nowadays, because you'll probably get reported. She says, oh, what, you would, question mark? Absolutely, plans tonight? Haha, well, I have to work at the moment, I can't have sex, but we can do other stuff. <laughs> I say, haha, can we hold hands? Yes, of course, haha. Show me your number and we can figure out details, smiley face, and she does. And I actually did wind up meeting out with her, I believe, and we hooked up. And here is one more. So this is a text interaction. How's it going? Alex, Q guy, Tinder. Really good, actually. What about you? Awesome, my girlfriend is out of town, smiley face. Want to grab a drink tonight. So again, very button pushing, heavily influenced by early RSD. Your joke, not even a bit. I send her a question mark. And then I say, I don't understand. I thought we were getting along on Tinder. Dude, you have a girlfriend. Cheating isn't cool with me. I've been thinking about ending it though. She's really been letting herself go lately. <laughs> She's like, I'm 99% sure you don't have a girlfriend that you're fucking with me right now. I'm onto your web of lies. I say plus 10 points, but seriously, you don't have a girlfriend, right? Uh huh. Come on, silly. And she says, hey, you're the one messing with me, and that's okay, but I like to have my facts straight. No girlfriend. You free to grip a drink tonight? I have class 7 to 9.50, and I'm not 21. Sorry, boy. Where do you go to school? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's where my girlfriend goes. Whoops. <laughs> she says, very funny. Do you go to school? Went to college on the East Coast, moved to LA after graduation. Oh, damn, that's a far move. Why LA? Want to get away from the cold? You? Just for school? Blah, blah, blah. Is a good one. I see. Question. What would your thoughts be on coming over for a glass of wine after class? <laughs> She's like, I like wine. I'm like, perfect. My address is blah, 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 blah. I don't remember if she came over or not, or, you know, it took more uh, over text, but I do remember <laughs> that this was definitely a strategy I used to use back in those days. So you can see my texting used to be a lot more bun pushing. And actually, as I'm reading through this, I do think there's elements of the strategy that might be useful. I probably would definitely not approach it the same way I used to, right? I think my text game now is just a lot more straightforward, right? I'm not trying to be like edgy or cool or like make the girl laugh, right? It's just much more straightforward, right? Because right nowadays, I'm much more focused on just having a more or less a routine that I follow and just running girls through you know like as a, you know through the funnel right so I don't have time to come up with these uh, you know weird lies and quite often a lot of this stuff can backfire over text because your humor is not communicated so this is this is the kind of shit that nowadays I say for real life interactions when I'm actually on the date I do still troll all the time but I don't do as much trolling over text. Hey, if you guys are finding value in this video, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Seriously guys, just hit the subscribe button below. All right, now let's compare this to one of my recent convos. So this was about 
I want to say two months ago or something like that. This is a trick I met off Tinder. Uh, honestly, there was very minimal messaging on the app. We moved to the number pretty fast. I don't have the Tinder screenshots, but most of the work was done over text anyway. So I say, hey, it's Alex from The Thing. If I save the contacts, go under ambiguous Alex, who from where, Christian Mingle, of course, so you can see the trolling never completely went away. Oh, that's weird. I thought I was on J-Day. Don't worry, I can wear yarmulke on our date. So there's a date now. There's the there's the J-Date. Mm-hmm. Nice and kosher, of course. So I'm still pretty, you know, amusing and humorous over text, but I would say that my humor and uh, my jokes flow better now. Like they're not as like kind of out there. It's more just like, it's more smooth. She's like, haha, how's your weekend going? I send her a picture of Rhaegar, pretty good. Just finished a video hanging out with this guy. What a cutie video. Yes, those pornos aren't gonna shoot themselves. She's like, yum. I say, how's your weekend going? Incredible. I'm at a bar listening to live band, playing Sam Cooke, etc. But it's a wedding party, haha. I have no idea who the fuck that is. I say, ah, you're getting married. Hopefully your new husband doesn't mind sharing. Winky face, monogamy is a construct. True, you strike me as quite open-minded and adventurous. So you can see again, they're still trolling, but it's just flowing better. I like to have fun. Good, we should get together sometime soon then, going for the meetup. Uh, so back then I used to just, when I was closing, I would just say, you're free to hang out tonight, which is how most people do it. But that's not optimal. It's better to soft close like you saw in this example, and then you go for the hard close. Absolutely, but not so late because I get tired early, haha. -ha. I say, lol, I got you, how's Monday or Tuesday evening? So again, back then I used to be like, how's tomorrow night or how's tonight, right? Now I give the girl options because it increases your likelihood of getting a yes. She says, Tuesday, I say, perfect, do you like one? Haha, -ha, passed out, yes, red. Cool, me too, we can split a ball on my romantic balcony. So again, another thing that's changed is back then, I was just meeting girls anywhere and everywhere. But since then I learned that the most optimal way to set up a date is to have it be on your romantic balcony. Uh, she doesn't respond, so I waited day and say, if that's cool, she says, yes, absolutely. But I'm going to have to ask for a ring check, just got put on antibiotics today and not feeling too hot. I say, ah, no worries, what did they say you have? Some bullshit amygdalitis. I woke up from a bad, feeling bad after a nap from one moment to the next, sneaky little fucker. I say, oh, that amygdalitis, always cock blocking. How long do you have to be on antibiotics for? So here I'm just trying to figure out, you know, when I can re-engage her, haha, for real, and five days. Ah, okay, my mom's coming to visit on Thursday, so love will have to survive until next week. Distance makes the heart grow fonder, right? Send mama my best. Indeed, we do. Uh, and then I check in with her a few days later. How's the old amygdalitis going? Oh my God, so much better. I was like night and day on Tuesday after I slept all day on Monday. How's your week with mama going? You showing her the good spots. Glad to hear, and yeah, took her to Eleven for a nice mother-son lap dance. So Eleven is a famous uh, strip club in Miami. Like anyone who lives here has heard of it. Nothing like undevoted quality time. Glad to hear you making the best of it. Uh, and then uh, she double texts me a day or two later. So how long is mama staying for? That's a very good sign when a girl double texts you like that. That means that she's legitimately committed. She's not just looking for you know a text buddy. Not to say that if a girl doesn't double text you, it means that she is looking for a pen pal, but it is a good sign. When you see something like that, it's a good thing. I say not too long, she leaves Tuesday afternoon. Are you free that evening? I have dinner plans with my girl that night. Don't think it'll run very late. I don't know, I think Wednesday would be easier. Wednesday I have a podcast already, but if Tuesday's no bueno, I can do Thursday or Friday night. I have a friend's birthday on Thursday and I fly to Mexico Friday morning. How long this podcast? It definitely can run late. Why don't we do Tuesday then after dinner? So this is purely logistics here. You're gonna do me like that? Okay, Tuesday it is. You'll get a full but drunk version of me, so basically a wit. I say, all righty, just not try not to puke on radar. And I send a picture of my dog wearing a goofy outfit. Uh, so nowadays, another thing I'm doing is I'm utilizing pictures a lot more, right? Back then I didn't used to do that, but I realized, you know, the old saying that a photo says a thousand words actually very much applies to TechScape. She's like, oh my God, that fit is not fair to who said I was sloppy, but I'll accept the assumption for the photo. Fair enough. My, my, it's Tuesday already. Am I meeting Rhaegar tonight? So she's confirming on you. Very good sign. Indeed you are. I'm gonna be working until later as well, so it works out well. Uh, and then I double text her because you know I need to lock in that time. What time do you think you'll be done? Hmm, maybe 10 or 11-ish, you around 11, perfect. I'll text you when I'm about to finish, finishing soon. So this is all logistics here. Uh, we're just going, you know, address. Uh, she's like parking situation, like valet, my treat. <laughs> Back in 2013, there's no way I could have afforded that. So, oh, easy, thanks, you and 10, just logistics, logistics. Uh, and she comes over, we actually, really chill girl, we hung out for like 45 minutes an hour, we hooked up, that was hot, very yummy, plus that sauna. So she liked the infrared sauna, she's like, need that sauna right now. So you can see that, you know, that, a lot of the things are still the same. I'm still the same person. My humor hasn't really changed, but I have found a way to make it flow better. So, you know, my humor was always out there, but in the past, 
I would make it a very polarizing thing where a lot of girls would drop off. It's okay to be polarizing, but there's no need to be so polarizing that you're just letting girls who are probably pretty cool and down to meet you and would like you in person slide through the cracks because you're just saying outrageous shit over text. So again, this is something you know that I used to do because I used to follow RSD, but since then I'm like, yeah, it's not good to be super outrageous at all times because again, you're just missing opportunities. Also, I found little ways to make things better, like using photos, closing much more optimally, you know, doing better dates, like dates at my house, which are much more likely to lead to a positive outcome, closing, confirming, all that stuff that has improved since then and has overall made my texting a lot better. All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable and entertaining. Show some love by smashing the like button, hitting subscribe and clicking the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching and until next time.